everyone and welcome back to defend your castle today guys we're gonna continue we're on round 14 um we we got the the dudes who repair the castle right what are you who is that oh shit no i'm sorry i didn't mean to do the suicide bomber that's not a good idea i don't know how long it's gonna be before i actually need to have green guys i should probably just have more red guys instead but i got a few green guys so that's cool uh yeah i don't have any i don't have any new people hold on a second we're working on it. There we go. The bucket's back. I put a guy in the bucket and put a guy over there. And then we got 39 archers. Hmm. That's a good number, right? Look at all these dead people, man. Look at look at them all. They're so dead. There's nothing I love more in life than dead people. Um, okay. It's more like there's nothing I like more in video games than dead people. I'm not some sort of serial killer or anything, guys. Okay. You think this guy could kill someone? Come on. I'm gonna save up my dudes, okay? I think that's probably a good idea. There goes a guy in the bucket again. I think it's funny how uh, they're buttons, but they look like smiley faces, you know? Because the buttons got the two holes and a little thing down below. And yeah, they look like they're having a really good time. I mean, even when they die and they scream, they still, they still smile. <laughs> Okay, we defended the castle. Look at that, 65, 21, 9, and 2! Okay. So we have $37,000. It's a lot of money. Uh, shit, it's not enough for the Magical Arts Tower, though. Yeah, everything else is super expensive as well. All right, so Magical Arts is coming next. Assign units to practice the Arcane Arts. Activate the spells they learn by tapping the spell icons like that appear in the top left corner. We're gonna do that. Um, and I'll probably do a Wall Fortify as well. Okay, because I'll make enough money to still get the Magical Arts Tower next time. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, I could I could improve my conversion pit as well. That's pretty good. The improved pit converts enemies faster, and that's pretty good. Oh. Oh, it's snowy. All right. Well, not only, not only will I be murdering these people, but hopefully the cold temperatures will also murder them. I'm from a cold place, okay? I live in Canada. It is not a warm place. The wind hurts my face. <laughs> so hopefully the wind hurts your face too, you dickheads. That's right. I call you dickheads. You think the uh, you, you think the the YouTube, uh, you know the, the 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 close captioning. You think that'll pick me up as as saying dickheads? I don't know. Will it will it will it know what a dickhead is? I should probably stop saying it. I'm pretty sure the way it works is if you say too many swear words in your video, it gets demonetized. That's sad. I don't like having to police my language, guys. I mean, I assume that whoever's watching my videos is smart enough not to watch my videos that they're offended by offensive language, you know? But now YouTube's gotta be like, hey, bro, we say what happens here or you don't get paid. And nothing makes people do stuff better than money does. All right, huh. let me tell you. There's nothing I won't do for a dollar. So now things are getting a little bit crazy. This is the moment I was waiting for. I like it better when things are crazy. All right, and now not only is it just more exciting to have a lot of people to murder, but also I should stop saying things like murder and kill and all those words because YouTube is gonna demonetize me and I don't wanna be demonetized, YouTube. I'd rather if I made money on these videos, all right? Not only do I have more people to kill now, guys, but also I'm gonna make more money from all the dead people. There's no way this video is gonna be monetized. I have said too many words that are off limits. So these guys will do the art things. Hopefully there's some good, oh, these guys can, uh, they can convert people for me. Yes, that's what I want. All right, so let's, uh, let's hop in here. Okay, and uh, we'll try it out. So uh, we gotta put a guy in there. Now there's a guy in there and he is the eraser button. You can erase people. Ah, uh, going with the old hand-drawn theme, eh? Get in that bucket. Can I erase this guy? I can't erase anything right now because I just don't have enough magic dudes. Whoa, I didn't know that could just jump in the air. That's good. Oh my god, guys, I thought the eraser wasn't ready, it was, but you have to hover over a dude and then press the number one. Okay, well now I'm just gonna patiently wait for it to come back again. Cool. So hopefully I can erase the uh, the big dudes, because obviously you're gonna want to use it at the right time. It's almost ready. It's looking like it's getting real ready here. It's ready. Bam, look at that, he's got, yes! <laughs> Take that giant guy! Kind of garbage that I made less money than last time. 
I guess I'm saving up for the improved conversion pick because I want to make people convert quicker, okay? That's all, right? Just convert some faster? Yeah, okay, cool. You know, guys, it has been a long time now since I played any X-Gen Studios games. That's the people who made this game. So I'm just going to go ahead and shout out myself here. Shout out to Matt Shea because he has this great series on a game called Stick RPG and Stick RPG 2. I should probably link them down below if I remember. I often don't, but seriously, check it out, bro. It's, uh, it was a good time. All right, finally, we get to go and get the improved conversion pit. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is that thing called? That's right, improved. I was gonna say advanced. It's not advanced. Let me look at one thing. Spellcraft. Be, uh, bring spellcrafting to a new level. Erase and convert multiple units at once and evoke explosions over a large area. Okay, so a bunch of cool stuff that you can do. What are these guys? Provide your archers with explosives. Okay, yeah. And uh, the, the, these guys? Whoa! These guys provide a source of stone your masons can use to fortify your walls. Okay, so that's a good upgrade. And demolitions. Provide your units with more powerful explosions. Yeah, I well, don't we'll care about that. And bam. It's mine. Okay, so that's gonna be faster dudes. This one is advanced, so improved and then advanced. The advanced pit converts enemies faster than improved pit, providing you with a rat. Okay, so just speed. It's all about that speed. Let's see. Let's see how many dudes we can convert in one round, huh? The bucket's ready. Who's going in the bucket? You are. Goodbye. I wonder how long I can last if I don't murder anybody. I just want to move them around. I'll let them. Uh, I'll let them die from the from the arrows instead. Come on, arrows, kill the guys! Oh god, I gotta start throwing them. They're getting kind of abundant here. Stop it, you abundant lads, you! <laughs> I guess some of you could be lasses, you know? There could be some women in this fight, you know, with quality and all that stuff. No, I gotta- I gotta bomb you. Boom! Okay, that's good. That's good. Look at that! Oh, we did some damage, man! That's not cool! Don't be damaging my base! Oh, guys! The new thing is here! I didn't even need to purchase the upgrade! I can do a convert. Convert. Oh, spray him! Nice, I like that. Okay, so we converted a guy and throw that guy in there. And then, oh! Here's where shit gets crazy, guys. I just want you to know that shit's about to get crazy, okay? Because now we can convert people. So we just gotta keep on converting and adding and converting and adding. And then when, when, when we add, that means we can convert even more people even faster and so on and so forth. It's a, it's a never-ending snowball of wonderfulness. Not gonna even bother erasing anybody anymore, guys, because it's much, uh, much better to wait until I can convert instead, all right? Trust me on this one. I know what I'm talking about. I swear. Uh-oh, you just got sprayed, bro, with that X-Gen Studio spray enamel. Very good stuff. Very good for converting those units. Yes. And now we wait again. We got the eraser, but nobody wants the eraser, man. We gotta, we gotta do those conversions. Look, I like that. I like it when they bring in the bombs and you can just detonate them. It's like, yeah, oh, you got a bomb? I'll just go ahead and blow that up. No big deal. So guys, I'm starting to think that I'll probably just skip everything besides magic until I really need to do something else. Look at that. I'm, I'm gonna get one of those guys. I don't think it does anything else. It's still one dude, but I, I would rather convert a big dude than a small dude. Because the small dudes, they're not a problem. Throw them in the air. Big dudes, you gotta do something with them. They'll usually get killed with the, uh, the arrows. But anyway, guys, what I'm saying is, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna save up and get the advanced magic stuff. You know, I think that'd be pretty good. Just keep on using our magic on these dudes. Just, uh, shit, I didn't mean to press that button. That's the one I wanted to press. Can you do both? Do they act are they independent from each other? Cause I haven't been doing the erasing cause I thought that, uh, I, I thought if I didn't use a magic, it would bring my other one up faster, but I don't know, that might not actually be true. Yeah, it seems like you can actually use either of these things and they don't have an effect on each other. Well then. I guess I'll use both. I just earned a medal for invincibility. I guess it's because nobody touches my castle. Nobody touches my castle! Urgh! Okay, anyway, I'm done. We now have $120,000. That's not enough to get the improved spellcraft, so why am I even gonna bother doing anything else? You know what I mean? Round 23. We're really getting somewhere now, dudes. Let me go ahead and spray that guy. You know, those guys, they, they, they were real, they were, they were real tricky until I blew them, then they were pretty good. Then they, they really cooperated. <laughs> it's finally happening. We are about to get the improved spellcraft. All right, so multiple units at once. So I guess you can like build them up or whatever. This is gonna be good. Boom, 
It's been done. And the next one, master the final intricacies of crafty spellcraft, increasing the effectiveness of all your magical spells. Hmm. Okay. So let's see how this goes now, shall we? Ha ha. So we, we have both ready right now. So I can go ahead and do that. And it's still gotta come back. But it says I can do it like multiple at once or something. What's that all about? Oh boy, I just sprayed two dudes at once. That's what I like to do. Oh God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I need to try that again. You gotta get them right up against each other. I wanna try erasing two people at once. Oh, I actually did it. Nice, this is kinda cool. I like it. So now, pow. I got two dudes, all right. Bam, bam, put them right into the magic. Guys, I am killing people so fast, I didn't even realize that they make a noise when they get to the base with the popsicle stick. Listen to this. Ah, they all die before I can do it. Look, try again. Ah, try again. Woo! <laughs> I'll have to just erase them all. Okay, I erased two of them. I think two is the max, as far as I can tell. Okay, things are starting to get kind of nuts. I'm glad I'm about to get the upgrade so I can get explosive arrows, because I think that'll help a lot. Provide your archers with explosives. I think that's probably a good idea. Guys, I just realized you can't see my mouse. I don't know how important that is for you to see it, but yeah, I just noticed, so... I'm sorry if you're like, where the hell is this guy's mouse at, you know? Because <laughs> it is a game where you use your mouse a lot, so yeah. It's an invisible mouse, okay? I can see it. Don't worry, I'm not playing this game with an invisible mouse for myself, because that'd be super hard to do. Oh, finally I got bombs! Boom! So now I can blow things up by myself, and uh, it does not affect the other things, I believe. Because I'm pretty sure that's the way it's been so far. So if that's the case, then I can just, you know, spray a couple of dudes, and I can... Erase a couple of dudes or just one guy and then I can blow some stuff up and it's all good. Okay, I think I need to start putting some money into more archers. Not money, of course, people. I gotta start putting more people into archers because I just want, I just I just need them to slow down a little bit. All right, there's a lot of dudes coming. It works best so you don't have to do a whole lot. I'm throwing a lot of guys in the air, all right? It's exhausting. So yeah, gonna try and get lots of people into the archery here. And I'm just basically just gonna be waiting for the next thing to come back. I don't know if it comes back any quicker. I don't think it does, honestly. It seems like it always takes about the same amount of time regardless of how many magic dudes you got. So if that's the case, then I don't really need to get any more magic dudes. I have enough to get what I got. Really what I need to do is purchase another upgrade so things work faster and better or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what it said now, but it'll be better if you upgrade, obviously. I'm up to 128 archers now. Mr. Sun is going down. Goodbye, Mr. Sun. Thank you for keeping me warm and cozy and all that good stuff. And number three on that one, toss a guy in there, put a guy up there, and wait for the sun to finish going down. Oh, I wanna convert a couple more dudes too. Get a couple more dudes and go. Yeah, there you go, I got a big dude and a little dude. They're worth the same amount, don't ask why. I mean, I guess they're both, they're both souls, you know? <laughs> There's still one soul each, I guess. I don't really know how this works. Then again, it does seem kind of weird that if you convert one of those big dudes, they come out as a little dude if they, you know, come out with a little bomb or whatever. All right, well, anyway, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and save that there. And we're at 79,000, so we don't have enough for any of this stuff. Why does it feel like my money's not going up very fast? Am I just getting spoiled at this point? Do I just expect everything to be handed to me on a silver platter? Well, yes, I do. Please give me everything on a silver platter. Who wouldn't want that? Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you want to see some more, you know what to do. Leave a like down below. Uh, I'm not sure it could go either way in the next episode. It could get super easy if I can, you know, get all these dudes converting or it could get super hard because we're starting to get a lot of dudes coming at the base, you know? It's anyone's game. You'll have to stick around and find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.